Hello folks, uh, welcome to Informatica Power Center uh, training program. So in this uh, video, we are going to understand about uh, the Informatica Power Center architecture. So when we talk about the Informatica Power Center architecture here, so we have a different uh, uh, components uh, that are present here. So basically, Informatica Power Center is something built on a client server technology. So where Informatica server is pre present in one physical location, and the client will be present in another physical location. So server will be accessed by Informatica administrator and the client tools will be accessed by Informatica developers. So the developers are going to connect, uh, uh, are going to use this uh, client tools uh, that we have it and uh, the administrator is going to access this uh, Informatica uh, administration, administration console in order to do the admin activities. Right? So as a developer, we are going to connect to the Informatica client tools uh, that we have it here. So we can see the designer, workflow manager, workflow monitor, and the repository manager. So these are all the four client tools where the Informatica developer is going to work on. So the Informatica administrator, basically he works on the admin administration console in order to do the admin, admin activities. So we have the different uh, services uh, that can be uh, configured in the power center, like uh, you have uh, uh, integration service, repository service, you have the web services, SAP BW service, so these all these services uh, can be configured uh, uh, in order to do the different activities, right? And you can see there is a concept called as uh, a power exchange uh, or the power connect. So basically these uh, things are uh, like, so whenever you have the special sources like uh, uh, SAP system or uh, mainframe system or Hadoop or uh, if you want to get the data from uh, unstructured data from uh, Facebook or LinkedIn or or any kind of social networking site, basically Informatica Power Center cannot alone uh, extract the data from this kind of special sources. So, so the Informatica Power Exchange will be uh, used along with the Informatica Power Center in order to read the data from such kind of uh, source system so that we have it. Right. And we have even uh, some of the uh, core services so that we can see, log service, gateway service, uh, configuration service, authentication service, domain services, administration services. These are all the different core services that we have where uh, the, the, these cannot be seen, but uh, they will be uh, they will be working uh, logically inside the, uh, inside the power center. So what exactly the uh, activity of this uh, Informatica power center is that? It will extract the data from the source system, it will transform the data in the memory and it will load the data into the target system that we have it. So Informatica Power Center is something built on a uh, service oriented architecture. So when I say service oriented architecture, it's nothing but it will invoke the software interfaces in order to perform the business activity. So the service is nothing but it is a task that is performed by the service uh, provider in order to achieve the desired result. So basically, uh, you have a lot of services uh, uh, that can be configured in the Informatica Power Center that we have that you can see here. So there are a lot of services like uh, integration service, repository services, CPBW service, web services, and we have some other services that can be configured in order to perform the ETL activity or the data quality activity also we can do that. Right. So that is the reason it is called as a service oriented act, uh, act uh, service oriented, uh, it is designed on the service oriented uh, architecture that we have it. Right. So this is the architecture of uh, power center that you can see here. So you can see the core part of Informatica power center is the domain. So what is this uh, domain is nothing but, uh, it's nothing but it's a fundamental unit or the primary unit that is useful for managing and administrating all the services. Uh, that are present in the, all the services that are present in the power center. So domain is nothing but, it's basically a collection of a node and the services, node and the services. So when I say service, service is nothing but for performing the data integration or for performing the ETL activity, we need the two mandatory services uh, that has to be configured in the domain. So what are the two services? One is integration service that you can see here and you can see here repository service. So these two services has to be configured in order to perform the ETL activity or the data integration activity. So what is the purpose of this uh, repository service? So the repository service basically, uh, it has the connectivity with the power center client. So using this power center client, ETL developers or the Informatica developers, they are going to design the 
ETL plans which are nothing but the mapping. So they will design the mappings in the power center client. So the power center client will have the connection with the repository service. So whenever you do any kind of activity in the power center client, so the repository service will will load the metadata into the repository database that we have it. So we have something called as a repository database here. So this repository database basically it contains all the repository tables that stores the metadata of the ETLs that you do here. So whenever you import the source, whenever you import the target, whenever you create a mapping, whenever you create a session, when you create a workflow, so every time you're going to save that details uh, to the repository service where those details will be inserted into the repository tables that we have it. And you have uh, another uh, uh, service called as an integration service. So this integration service is nothing but it is a ETL engine that basically performs the ETL from sources to the targets. So the ET, uh, whenever you create a mapping, when you run that mapping, so basically integration service, it will go to the source, it will extract the data, it will transform the data in the memory and it is going to load the data into the target. So the integration service basically, you can see here, it has the connectivity with the uh, power center uh, client tools where it will uh, uh, where it will run the uh, ETL process in order to perform the ETL activity from source to the target. So it also has the connectivity with the repository service. So what is the, what does the repository service do here is that? So whenever you run any ETL program in the power center client tool, so the integration service will take the details of that particular ETL from the repository database using the repository service. So when you run a ETL, so the integration service will get the details of the ETL from the repository database using the repository service and it performs the ETL activity from source to the targets. So it is going to connect by using the native drivers uh, that we have it here and the uh, communication between the integration service and the repository service will be done by using the TCP IP protocols. So all this domain, you can access the domain, you can access the integration service of the repository service, you can create all these things by using the administration console. So this administration console is nothing but, it is a web page where you can configure all the services and nodes in the domain. So this domain will be installed in a node. It will be installed in a node. So whenever I install power center in my laptop, my laptop is nothing but a node. So the node is nothing but, it is a logical representation of a machine. So inside the domain, so what is the domain? So domain is nothing but, it's an admin part where it contains the nodes and the services. So what is a node? Node is nothing but, it is a logical representation of a machine inside the domain. So each node runs a service manager. So uh, basically this service manager will manage all the services that is configured on the node. On the node, we are going to configure these two services, which is a integration service and the repository service, which will be managed by using the service manager, which is another activity. Okay. So one of the node in the domain is called as a gateway node and the rest of the nodes will be called as a worker nodes. So the worker, so the gateway node will share the uh, load to the worker nodes. So the worker nodes will uh, uh, do the activity accordingly. So this is about the Informatica uh, architecture. You can see here, so this is nothing but a domain. So domain is, uh, domain is nothing but it's a collection of nodes and the services. You can see this is the node. So, and these are the two services that we have. So this is the repository service and this is the integration service. Okay. And uh, so this uh, uh, domain can be accessed by using the Informatica administration console. So we can see here, so this is the administration console. So this administration console is nothing but it's a uh, web, uh, it's a web page that can be opened through any kind of, uh, uh, any kind of, uh, uh, any kind of uh, browser. It could be Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. So we can access the domain using any kind of uh, uh, web browser so that uh, you can see all the services and the nodes present in the domain. Okay. So for performing the data integration, we need the two services. One is a, 
repository service and another one is the integration service in the domain. Thank you.